This Bond babe is an absolute beauty, and the sexy film she's been in will blow your mind. Eva Green is a French actress and model born in Paris, France on July 6, 1980. This French actress has been setting screens ablaze with her sultry presence and unapologetic charm, leaving fans entranced and wanting more. Eva Green exudes a captivating sensuality that is both alluring and intoxicating. Her presence is dazzling, with a subtle yet appreciable intensity that just draws you in. Her features are finely chiseled with full lips, piercing eyes, and flawless skin. Whether she's playing a seductress or a complex character, Eva Green embodies a sensual energy that is difficult to ignore. In this video, we'll explore six movies that showcase Eva Green's sensuality and undeniable sex appeal. Bernardo Bertolucci's 2003 film The Dreamers is a captivating exploration of youth, rebellion, and sexuality set against the vibrant backdrop of 1968 Paris. The film follows the complex relationships between three young adults, Isabel, Theo, and Matthew, as they navigate their passions for cinema, music, and each other. Bertolucci's direction brings a dreamy quality to the film, perfectly capturing the essence of youth and rebellion. The cinematography is stunning, with its dull color that adds to the film's nostalgic and introspective tone. The score, featuring a mix of French pop and rock, perfectly complements the film's mood, drawing the viewer into the world of the characters. Fans of Bertolucci will rejoice in seeing Eva Green serve as a core part for the movie. The French actress is supported by other talented co-stars such as Michael Pitt, who played Matthew, Louis Garrel, who played Theo, her twin brother, and Anna Chancellor, who acted as their mom. Eva Green plays Isabel, a beautiful, enigmatic, and sexually liberated young woman. Isabel's character is a fascinating blend of vulnerability, sensuality, and rebellion, and Green brings this character to life with captivating intensity. From the moment she appears on screen, Eva Green's Isabel is a vision of perfection, with her short hair and slender physique. Her style is effortlessly cool, often dressed in sleek outfits that accentuates her allure. Her hypnotic eyeballs and sultry smile only add to her on-screen presence, making her a true femme fatale. Dark Shadows The 2012 film Dark Shadows, directed by Tim Burton, is a gothic comedy horror masterpiece that brings to life the iconic 1960s TV soap opera of the same name. The film boasts an impressive cast, including Johnny Depp as the charming but troubled vampire Barnaby Collins, Michelle Pfeiffer as the family matriarch Elizabeth Collins Stoddard, and Helena Bonham Carter as the eccentric Dr. Julia Hoffman. The film follows the story of Barnaby Collins, a vampire who leaves his tomb and returns to his mansion to find that his family's business is in ruins and his love, Josette, has been dead for centuries. Tim Burton's direction brings the film to life with his signature style, blending elements of horror, comedy, and drama to create a unique and captivating viewing experience. Angelique Bouchard, played by Eva Green, is a powerful and resilient witch who is also a successful businesswoman and community icon. She is driven by a deep-seated hatred for Barnaby, who she believes wronged her in the past. Eva Green's appearance in the movie is intriguing, with her porcelain-painted face and enticing eyes. Her character's style is a blend of Victorian elegance, intricate costumes, and hairstyles that contribute to her appealing presence. Her character uses that appeal to her advantage and makes the film steamy. Her appeal produces one of the film's most memorable scenes. This scene takes place in a dimly lit, ornate bedroom, where Angelique has lured Barnaby with her seductive charms. As they embrace, the camera pans across their bodies, capturing the intensity of their desire. Barnaby stood no chance. Green's character and her pale porcelain-like complexion are too striking of features to be resisted. Her lips are red and full, and her eyes seem to gleam with a mischievous intensity. As she and Barnaby kiss, the camera spins around them, capturing the sensuality of the moment. Their bodies entwine, and the scene becomes a whirlwind of passion and desire. Eva Green's performance in this scene is captivating, conveying a sense of abandon and longing. Her chemistry with Johnny Depp is undeniable, making the scene feel authentic and intense. Speaking of intense, you should check out this next film the actress was a part of, Casino Royale.
This video would be incomplete without adding this to the list. Did you know Eva Green was a Bond girl? And guess what? Only the sexiest women have become Bond girls in cinema history. Casino Royale, directed by Martin Campbell, is the reboot of the James Bond franchise, based on N. Fleming's first Bond novel. The film follows James Bond, who must defeat one of the film's villains, a criminal banker in a high-stakes poker game at Casino Royale. As Bond navigates the treacherous world of espionage, he falls in love with a Vesper Lind, but their relationship is tested by secrets and betrayal. Bond must use his skills and cunning to outwit his enemies and uncover the truth. Martin Campbell's direction in Casino Royale was marked by a deliberate shift towards realism, character depth, and practical action. He stripped away the fantastical elements, focusing on a more grounded narrative. Campbell explores the emotional psyche of Bond and Vesper, adding complexity to the film. Practical stunts and gritty aesthetics enhance the realism while remaining faithful to N. Fleming's original novel. This approach successfully rebooted the Bond franchise, humanizing Bond and setting a new tone for future films. Eva Green stars as Vespa Lin, a fictional HM Treasury liaison officer and love interest of Bond. She is joined by other talented cast such as Daniel Craig, Mads Mikkelsen, and Katrina Marino. Green's appearance in the film is impressive as usual. Her costume ranges from polished black suits to elegant evening gowns, and each one carefully conveys Vesper's growing vulnerability and emotional depth. An iconic scene that stands out is the hotel room encounter between Vesper Lind and James Bond. After a tense and emotional evening, they find themselves alone in her hotel room. As they move closer, her eyes never leaving Bond's face, with her gaze burning with desire, the camera captures their breathing, lips creating an almost unbearable sense of intimacy. The music is soft and sultry, heightening the sensuality of the moment. It was a moment that had viewers wanting more, and Green celebrated for her role. However, in the next role we'll show you, the actress was just exceptional. How exceptional? Continue watching. The Golden Compass The Golden Compass, directed by Chris Wheats, is a captivating fantasy adventure film that transports viewers to a parallel universe. Released in 2007, the movie is based on Philip Pullman's novel of the same name. The story follows a young girl who embarks on a journey to save her friend and uncover the secrets of a mysterious substance called dust. It explores themes of identity, power, and the battle between good and evil. Chris Wheats's direction brings a sense of wonder and excitement to the film, perfectly capturing the essence of Pullman's novel. The movie's themes of identity, power, and the battle between good and evil are timeless and thought-provoking, making it a must-see for fans of fantasy and adventure films. The film boasts an impressive cast, including Nicole Kidman, Daniel Craig, who the sexy actress reunited with on the set of the film, and Sam Elliott. While all these stars deliver standout performances, it was Green's Serafina Pakala who was one of the film's biggest highlights. Her character is a witch queen who aids the main character on her quest. The actress's character has an absolutely stunning physique, with her subtle smile, flowing long hair, and a regal presence which dazzled the audience. Apart from her incredible sexual appeal, the actress's performance was commanding. Also, her costumes, designed by Ruth Myers, are intricately detailed and evoke a sense of ancient wisdom which added to the mystery around her character and made her even more memorable. Speaking of memorable, a scene that stands out is the scene where Green's character first meets the main character in the witch's lake dwelling. As she emerged from the misty lake, her ethereal white robes created an otherworldly aura. Her daunting eyes locked onto Lyra as she approached with a graceful, fluid movement. Her full lips curve into a gentle, enigmatic smile. Not every actress could achieve that without any overt sexuality. Well, the sensuality that the actress hid in the last film, she exposed in the next one, even if it was a bit haunting. Womb. The 2010 film Womb, directed by Benedict Fleigolf, is a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of love, loss, and rebirth. The movie tells a story of Rebecca, 
a grieving woman which Green played who undergoes a procedure to bear her love's clone. Benedict Flygalf's direction brings a unique and introspective approach to the story, the twist of human emotions with sensitivity and nuance. Whew, you need to watch this movie. The film's pacing is deliberate and measured, allowing the audience to absorb the emotional weight of a scene. The cinematography is equally impressive, capturing the bleak beauty of the landscape and the isolation of Rebecca's grief. The cast of Womb delivers outstanding performances with Matt Smith, Hannah Murray, and Leslie Manville bringing profundity to their respective roles. Green also delivers with her Rebecca role. Despite the character's grief, the sexy actress managed to make Rebecca beautiful, even if haunting. The actress made the character fragile, and with her costumes, she made her dreamy. And on the subject of dreams, a scene the audience would be dreaming about is the scene where Rebecca and her lover Thomas share a passionate kiss which then cuts to a montage of sensual moments, showcasing their desire and their connection. The actress has a great skill for haunting, and she uses that ability in this next movie we'll show you. Sin City, a dame to kill for. Green stars in Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, a neo-noir crime anthology directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller, based on Miller's graphic novels. It's a thrilling and visually stunning film that explores the dark side of human nature. Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller, the co-directors of Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, chose a unique and innovative approach to bring the graphic novel to life. Their directing style was notable for its commitment to faithfulness, a non-linear storytelling approach, and a blend of practical and digital techniques. Green worked with fellow actors Mickey Rourke, Jessica Alba, Rosario Dawson, and Jamie King to mention a few in this movie. Eva Green plays Ava Lord, a sultry and alluring temptress who manipulates men to get what she wants. Ava is a complex character with a dark past and penchant for violence. Ava Lord is a stunning and alluring presence. With long, curly black hair and piercing green eyes, her costumes, often revealing and provocative, spotlight her character's sexuality and power. Her allure produces a sexy scene which takes place in Ava's mansion. In the scene, she manipulated another character into doing what she wanted. As the character finally realizes her true intentions, Ava pulls out a gun and points it at him. Her face, a picture of cold calculation. Throughout the scene, the camera pans across Ava's body, lingering on her curves and sensual movements, even as she's wielding a weapon. Her outfit is a stunning form-fitting gown that showcases her physique. She embodied being dangerous and sexy. That's Eva for you, dangerous, sexy, and elegant. So, which of Ava Green's scenes do you like the most? Also, did we miss out on any of her mind-blowing performances and sexy roles? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more.